everybody welcome back to my channel I hope you all are doing well if you've been following my channel you would know the last couple weeks I kind of did a few videos on like nursing and my pump bag and whatnot so in today's video I actually wanted to share with you the proper way to store your breast milk and kind of share with you about how I store mine so let's get started freshly pumped milk can actually sit out at room temperature for six to eight hours so on your countertop or your desktop or wherever it could sit out um, at room temperature for six to eight hours now if you have a cooler bag like if you watched my video with my pump bag I showed you my cooler bag which held it holds like four bottles and ice pack it can sit in your cooler bag zipped up with your milk touching the ice pack up to 24 hours in a little cooler bag now, freshly pumped milk can actually sit in the refrigerator up to five days. And they actually recommend if you plan on using the milk within five days to keep it in the fridge and not freeze it. Apparently, freezing your milk can kind of take away some of the properties of the milk that is good for your baby. It's not bad for your baby to freeze it and feed them. But if you do plan on feeding them within the next five days, you can keep it in your fridge. So for like me, if I whatever I pump at work on Friday, I just keep it in my fridge over the weekend because I know I'm going to use it on Monday. So I just keep it in the fridge and come Monday I use it. I do keep an order in my fridge where I put the like most recent pumped milk in the back so that I know what's up front is kind of what I need to use. Um, it's been in there the longest we'll say and so I know that's kind of what I need to use first come Monday. So that's kind of how I do I store my milk when it comes to the refrigerator. So it could stay in the refrigerator up to five days. If you have a fridge where it has the freezer compartment inside of the refrigerator kind of like a mini fridge when you open it there's like a little container where you kind of lift the top and you're it's a little freezer compartment your frozen milk can stay in there up to two weeks within that compartment like now like most fridges you have the fridge and then you have a separate freezer where it's if the freezer's on top or it's on the side or it's on the bottom wherever one of those your milk can stay in the freezer from three to six months you want to make sure that you label your milk obviously with the date that you are freezing it so you know that within three to six months the milk needs to be used now if you have a like a deep freezer your milk in a deep freezer can actually stay frozen well from 6 to 12 months. So if you have one of those big deep freezers, I don't, but my parents do. But your milk can stay um, last long in there from anywhere, you can use it anywhere from 6 to 12 months. Now you can buy milk freezer bags. I use, I think it's called Lanolin. Lano, no, Lanolin is what you put on your nipple. Lanosh, Lanosh. I don't know. I will insert a picture of the milk bags that I use, but I just have a big box of those and I pour my milk in there and then there's a place where you can label even with the name, the date, and how much you put in there. So that's what I would do is I would um, label it with Lily or Max, Lily's name. I would put Max's name on there, the date that I was freezing it, and then how much I was freezing it in. Now in the very beginning when I was trying to build up a storage to go back to work, I was pumping when he's about a month old, I was pumping every morning after I fed him. And after I fed him, I was getting like anywhere from two to three ounces even after he ate. And I would store that milk. And then once I got up to five ounces, then I would freeze it. So within two days, I would get five ounces of milk. I would pour the milk in there. I would get all the air out. I'd kind of zip it all up, lay it flat, kind of get the air out. And then I would label it with Max's name, the date that I was putting it into the freezer, and again, how many ounces. So there were sometimes I would do... Three, anywhere from three to five ounces, but most of the time I would try to get five ounces in the bag. And then I would lay it in the freezer flat. That is the best way to store it. So I would lay it in there flat. Once it was completely frozen, I would take the frozen milk bag and put it into a, 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 froze, or a freezer safe Ziploc bag and I would seal it in there. Now on the Ziploc bag, I would label it whatever that month was. So I would say March 2016. Then anything that was frozen in that March period, I would put into the Ziploc bag. When we come into a new month, I would take a new Ziploc bag, I would label it April 2016, and then anything with an April date that was frozen, I would put into that Ziploc bag. And then I I would take everything and I would put it into the back of my freezer this way every time you open the freezer to get stuff out it wasn't like in the front and just kind of getting that temperature change it was kind of stuck in the back this way when I knew like a three to six month mark was coming up and I needed to use the milk I can pull out March take what I needed out of the March bag and put it in the back and I'm not sorting through a whole bunch of different milk or pulling all of my milk out and sorting through it this way they were all individually labeled and then labeled together within that month. And that is how I stored my milk um, in the freezer. I have since then, I've gone through it all so that I don't have anything in my freezer right now. And so I kind of use, 
I pump and use what I need for the next day. But that is what I did when I was sorting my milk in the freezer. So that is it for this video. I hope this helped you out guys out to kind of get an idea of the proper ways to store your milk, how long your milk can last, and the temperature, and the fridge, and the freezer. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!